Oh yeah, he's in Tuxedo now. Oh, I remember this, I think. Uh, was it only on Nintendo 64? Or was it on also on PlayStation? It is on something? Nintendo 64 and PlayStation, in fact. PlayStation apparently has more levels and lines. Ooh, oh. Well, I mean, the PlayStation used CD, basically compact discs, and uh, this one uses the country cartridge. Am I even using the right word for this? Well, the PlayStation does use a CD, and yeah. it does use cartridges on the N64. Yeah, so anyway, I remember when I was a kid, I went to the, like a shop, and they had like all those TV sets lining the, uh, the walls, and they used to have either random programs on them, or they used to have like consoles with, um, you know, like attract mode. It was just demos of stuff, and I remember specifically there was a Gex one. What a weird game to put up for, uh... Well, it was like 1990s, so... Plus it's, uh... Yeah. I think this level does get recycled at least once. I think most games get recycled at least once. Ah, oh, they were not allowed to say S. Well, yeah. If you want to say S, you gotta be on TV. I love that joke. From Timmy Turner. From Pharaoh Parents, actually. That's what the show is called. Timmy Turner is the character in the show. They make a joke about what you can't say on radio, what you can and can't say on radio slash TV. Uh, George Carlin did the seven words that he got saying to you. No, 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 the episode has, has a section mm. where, where the characters okay. are, uh, where I think Vicky in specific gets like arrested for saying something on the radio that you can only say on TV. Huh. Also, this, this seriously resembles uh, System Shock. Ah uh, yes, System Shock, a well-known collectathon. <laughs> I, I get what well, you I mean. mean. I get what you mean. Wise, I didn't mean it like you don't. Well, I mean technically, you also have a lot of platforming, but you have like side powers that allow you to pull objects from ledges and stuff. Because you know. I think my Discord Nitro gives me access to to the, the System, System Shock? Shock game. I think the System Shock is also getting like a release soon. I know it's being made, and it has been made for years, but I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I, I took a I took a look at that, and that was that was interesting. The first one looks really spooky because of the new models and everything, and the creepy atmosphere is like super scary. I like the second one more though, because the second one allows co-op and it's more uh, traditional sci-fi, and also the controls are not ass. It plays like an actual shooter with a story, as opposed to just. Uh, you know, one of those early, like, dagger full style. Do whatever you want. Uh, yeah, basically. I mean, the. <sighs> the controls are just ass, and the graphics are ass, and the FOV or the frame rate or something basically makes me nauseous, so I can't play those. That's really funny when the camera actually gets locked like this, the, the game control's just fine. Yeah. As a tune. That's why I prefer the tank controls over the camera uh, relative controls. Well, tank controls work great if you have lots of shifting camera angles. Because then you don't have to worry about where you're gonna end up next. Yeah, you're just going where your character is. No, for real, this uh, purple, red, like. Color scheme is definitely the system shown ish. Could it have been based on it? I mean, it's entirely possible. Uh, well, I suppose it's just like the, the, the whole, you know, computer and science y kind of color play. palette. Get all the collectibles, I think. I 
think I'm gonna have to do both areas, and that's gonna be annoying. Although, I could just kill myself in the second area and then death warp it back. Unlike Super Mario 64, with a 100 coin star, it was supposed to be a challenge of surviving the level. Just, just fucking death warping Gex! No one cares. Also, I noticed that a bunch of collectibles in the area vanished the minute we arrived. The only thing more confusing is trying to find shoelaces that work. Shoelaces that work? It's impressive they managed to get the, the speech on this at all. N64 was not what did not have the capacity just to slap some sound bites on. Very frequent difference between N64 and, and PlayStation. Wow, really? This is this is the silver remote? It's just, it's just over there! Hey, don't judge. Oh, I like how if you fall into a bottomless pit, you just kind of pulls up. Or did you use the tongue? He used the tongue to, to pull himself up. Hmm. Wow, you just destroyed that Robocop robot. The Surprised they didn't call this level Reboot. Yeah, but I think that would be a copyright infringement. Well, the term Reboot they could use just fine. Um, it wouldn't... Ooh, what's this? In Dragnet. Well, if they just call a level Reboot, that's fine, because it's just a word. If they make a television show or a product called Reboot, it's bad. They can't use characters and likenesses within it, because then it, it's, it goes in the same direction. Also, I like how this 14 remote indicator does not vanish. It just sticks around. It's like, hey, you new 14 remotes, you already have them. Who cares? Let's do in Dragnet. And after that, we'll do Circuit Central's bananas. Get the badges in time. Wow, there's, there's just a fucking corpse? <laughs> what, what are you laughing about? What's, what's so funny? <laughs> it's like, it's a New York, it's a kid's game, and there's literally a dead dude and a burned out cop car, and everything is like ruined, it's like post-apocalyptic. <laughs> it's like that Pepsi Man level in like Chicago or something, there's like hobos and dudes with shotguns trying to kill you. <laughs> Look at this. Dude, this would not fly these days. The New York would fucking sue the company for portraying it that badly. Holy crap. Jesus. Closed by the Board of Health? Wow. <laughs> this is such on the... Well, I mean, it's too much on the nose, really. Wow, you just desecrated that corpse. Yep, the, the corpse was programmed to be desecrated. <laughs> God damn. Don't get run over by a train. Jesus. What, what does it say in the wall? Something rules? No, no, the other one, the graffiti on the left side one. Let's see how many uh, loot jokes they got past the radar and stuff. NBT. Next, Next big thing. Mm. Music's kind of sassy. Yeah, it's like Jamaican or something. It's the multicultural stylings New York's known for. Yeah, this one. What, what, what did the green... Oh, wow, dude fell through the roof. The problem I have with this level is that it's not really easy to just go through. Well, it wouldn't be a platformer if you could easily go through a level. Yeah. Fair enough. Oh, there is a, a Gex's corpse on the ground. Silver bullets. Oh, reptiles rule. Okay, fair enough. Oh, wow, you actually fall through the hole. And the latency on this screen share is minimal. Yeah. There's the badge. It's at Lance's Lone Shark. Or... 
Me Melios. Melios. Chop. Dry your straights. Catch the train? It doesn't Who tell you which train. Who's driving the train? I don't know who's driving the train. Probably some. Why does this place smell like ducks? These quotes are just not well audio balanced. Well, we've got a train to catch. It's on the other side. This is the kind of music that would feel right at home in the Monkey Island, honestly. See if we can see who the guy at the front is. Yeah. I can't use the camera that way. Oh. No, oh, that sucks. Maybe they'll show us in the cutscene. It's kind of in impressive that they actually designed that little train comes up and all... Well, it's just a big giant brush moving around. It's not that hard. Well, uh, the objects, any um, essentially rectangle shape like a cube or anything is called a brush. So you you used to build stuff from brushes, essentially. All levels were made from brushes. All walls were made from brushes. All walls were made, all doors were made from moving brushes and such. Um, I am not sure on how it is made these days, but that's how I used to make it. These Back days, it's years. usually just entire imported models that go into the pipeline. Yeah, probably, because we have the ability to transform Materials and all to work with it. Yeah, we can transform any object into essentially a 3D model with photorealistic quality. At the very least, that's what my company used to uh, you know, you know what really gets me is there's so many life pickups in this level, but you don't really need them. There's not many things that hurt you, but they're very generous with the health. Because they didn't really test it that much. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. They didn't test it because they didn't like the camera, I assume. It's not that. Uh, well, what I assume is they. Shoelaces and woolies. Um, what I mean is. This is the 90s. They didn't exactly have the process down. They didn't exactly have the Q&A. You know, they didn't really have testers and everything. They probably just asked their family and friends to play this. And, you know, maybe their family and friends sucked at the game. So they said, you know, we need more help because we die. See, the problem with the tail jump technique is you generally don't want to continuously jump. You want to time your jumps and line them up. And thus, a continuous jumping technique isn't that useful. It's actually very fun in, in, in that DuckTales game because it's a side-scroller, so it's a little easier to pull off, but in 3D, it just doesn't work. Well, maybe if you are if you fell from a ledge and you have to walk all the way around, maybe it's something that you can use to pass the time or whatever. You know, people jump like idiots when they run a certain distance. There was this one uh, fifth element uh, game. With the same level of graphics. <laughs> graphics. Yeah, I used to have it, but I could not beat the second level, so I just. Oh wait, no, not the second level, the third level, where you get to control Lilu, because she only has uh, melee attacks. Damn, Gex is cute though. I know. I kind of want to draw him at some point. Go ahead. Your cool. art has been improving. I hope so. Well, it's not for you to decide, really. I mean, that's what people around you should be deciding. Oh, I just noticed there's a weird wavy effect going on, but because the effect only applies to the texture surrounding the boundary, it doesn't really work. Yeah. Never 
trust a robot with a beer. Maybe because a robot with a beard wouldn't be a robot, but more like somebody else in disguise. I think this platform makes a return later, as used a little bit more extensively. It looks like a sandwich. Watch me use my tail to kick your behind. I only just noticed that this particular power up is what's causing the music to change. Cheapers. technology has progressed. So advanced. I was baffled when I played Mario Sunshine, and I noticed that the camera could get in walls, and when it did, it, it would just light up a bit. It, it would get mean? that weird vignette. Oh, yeah, I know, yeah. I know what you, I know what you mean. See, this is why they added extra health. Extra lives. There's gonna be a level where it's like you, there's not enough items because we didn't test the level. We didn't even count the pickups. Where they just did test the level, but the testers all death warped. <laughs> it's technically not our responsibility to make sure there's enough pickups. What the level. Big boy. You're the one playing it. Holy crap, this dude saying big boy without voice is just ridiculous. I think I'm gonna try something after this. So I have the, the silver remote, I'm gonna see if I can exit the level and do it that way instead of having to actually complete it. Also, I noticed that in this area you don't die when you fall off. The game just warps you back. So clearly they knew that's a thing you can do. And they did it. And yet they insist on instant death pits. Although I imagine it's a bench of work to get it to work. It's still like the only thing better. More confusing is trying to find shoelaces at Woolies. It doesn't even hurt me. I thought, I thought just the floor would hurt me. No, it's just the things themselves that hurt. Also, pressing the crouch button while moving does not make you crouch, which means that the karate jump is actually a lot easier than I made it out to be. This is probably because of some inherent um, N64 control flaw. No, because in Super Mario 64 you can do exactly that. Oh. Although, actually, I think this one uses the, the, the R button instead of the Z button, so it might actually be a thing, yes. Be a weird one, since the, the trigger buttons are usually not associated with the same as the face buttons. Maybe you can't just press several ones at once. Who 
So, I've been through both ways in this level. I'm almost at the end of this path, and I don't think I'm gonna make it, collectible-wise. Why? You only need you 30 atoms. And you have like 40. Forty-nine now. Ah, there's one. Let's see if that keeps my remote. Excellent. Time to cut this video into another piece and look at that thing you linked. And then I guess we'll just do the last one because I do like this this one. This 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 one over here. It's a fun one. 